Hi, good morning. Today I will demonstrate to you some procedures regarding IV medications. First procedure is adding medications to, uh, to the IV solution box. First step is to verify the doctor's order and check it with the medication administration record. And then, you need to introduce yourself to the client, verify the client's identity, and explain the procedure to the client. Good morning, sir. My name is Mark, and uh, can I have your name, please? Thank you. And your birth date, please. There are three identifiers for the patient. The name of the patient, the birthday of the patient, and the medical record number. The nurse should use two out of three of these identifiers. Mr. Muhammad, today I will give you some IV medications. Would that be fine with you? Thank you very much. And then you need to wash your hands. And put on the drugs. First step is to check the remaining solution on the IV bag, making sure that it's still adequate. Right now, I have normal saline solution at full levels. This can still be used. And prepare the medications in a syringe as you draw it from the ampule or the vial. Close the roller clamp and remove the IV bag from the IV pole. Using the alcohol swab, clean the IV port of the IV solution bag and properly discard. Uncap the needle of the syringe. Steady the solution bag with your non-dominant hand and using your dominant hand, inject the syringe on the injection port. Gently push the IV medication into the container and directly discard the syringe. Generally rotate or agitate the IV solution bag in order to mix the medication with the solution. And rehang it on the IV pole. Open the roller clamp and readjust the flow rate as per calculation or as per doctor's order, making sure that the three-way saline lock is open. Then, we need to put a label on this IV solution bag in order to indicate that this is not just an IV solution, but one with an IV medication. So dispose the used equipment as per agency policy and document the nursing procedure and evaluate the patient's response to medication. IV medication using the three-way saline lock. First step is to verify the doctor's order and check it with the medication administration record. And then, you need to introduce yourself to the client, verify the client's identity, and explain the procedure to the client. Good morning, sir. My name is Mark, and uh, can I have your name, please? Thank you. And your birth date, please. There are three identifiers for the patient. The name of the patient, the birthday of the patient, and the medical record number. The nurse should use two out of three of these identifiers. Mr. Muhammad, today I will give you some IV medications. Would that be fine with you? Thank you very much. And then you need to wash your hands. And put on the gloves. First step is to prepare the medication using the correct syringe. 10 ml normal saline to flush which is commercially available. Using an alcohol swab, clean the injection port on the three-way saline, on the three-way saline lock. Remove the cover, making sure that it is closed on this port. 
clean the port attach the flashing syringe on the injection port Open the three-way saline lock, taking note that the arrows from here is open going towards the direction of the patient. Flush 3 to 5 ml amount of normal saline. The goal for the first flushing is to check for the patency and placement of the IV cannula, making sure that there is no redness, there is no swelling, infiltration, plebitis, and uh, signs of extrabasation on the uh, insertion site. Close the uh, three-way saline lock. Remove the needle from the uh, prepared uh, syringe for the medication. Attach it on the IV injection port. Open the three-way saline lock and push the IV medication at a prescribed rate. Close the saline lock. Remove the used syringe and discard. Reconnect the flushing syringe. And flush the line 3 to 5 ml. The goal of the second flushing is to push the medication towards the patient's vein. Close the saline lock and recap the injection port. Well, dispose the used equipment as per agency policy and document the nursing procedure and evaluate the patient's response to medication. Third procedure, piggyback administration. First step is to verify the doctor's order and check it with the medication administration record. And then you need to introduce yourself to the client, verify the client's identity, and explain the procedure to the client. Good morning, sir. My name is Mark, and uh, can I have your name, please? Thank you. And your birth date, please. There are three identifiers for the patient the name of the patient, the birthday of the patient, and the medical record number. The nurse should use two out of three of these identifiers. Mr. Muhammad, today I will give you some IV medications. Would that be fine with you? Thank you very much. And then you need to wash your hands. And put on the gloves. First step is to assess the IV site for signs of inflammation and infiltration. Prepare the uh, secondary line and prime it. Close the roller clamp of the secondary line using alcohol swab. Cleanse the injection port of the uh, medication to be piggyback. Uncut the spike cover. While the medication is resting on a surface, hold with your non-dominant hand the injection port and stabilize it and inject the spike or 
onto the injection port. Pinching the drip chamber to fill half or thirds of the drip chamber with the medication. Hang it on the IV pole. Expel the air from the tubing. Cleanse the appropriate port with an alcohol swab. We can connect the piggyback to either the primary line or the port in the three-way saline lock. Open the three-way saline lock. Open the roller clamp of the piggyback uh, medication while closing the roller clamps of the primary line. Dispose the used equipment as per agency policy and document the nursing procedure and evaluate the patient's response to medication.